horror games are one of the most popular game genres that exist, but for some reason the quality of them kind of faded the past few years. I mean, what is that? How is that a horror game? I want to put a stop to that and revive this genre. I have one simple objective, make the creepiest horror game with RTX on. For the people who live under a rock, RTX stands for Ray Tracing Textile Extreme. It essentially makes games beautiful while also frying your PC at the same time. Alright, the first step is to open Unity. This possibly can't go wrong, right? Before doing anything in there, I need to actually find out how to activate RTX. And there's basically one good video out there about ray tracing for Unity. And it's some weird webinar, but your boy got it to work. This is the current project with RTX off. And this is it with RTX on. You can see how the light kind of bounces off walls and stuff, it's pretty cool. The reflections also change with the color as you can see. Now I wanted to test out RTX with the assets that would fit the actual horror game I'm planning to make. So I got this hallway with rusty doors and lamps and some creepy masks and stuff. Doesn't look half bad, but it's neither rtx C nor very horror game me. Before tweaking the graphics, I'm gonna add this grain effect so it kind of looks like body cam footage, you get me? Makes it feel more realistic. To also follow every horror game stereotype you could have, I of course added a flashlight. These are the graphics right now. Boring, ugly, and the game looks terrible in general. I want to change the world with this game. So let's start destroying my poor PC. Damn! This is what I'm expecting when I say horror game, not this stuff. Look at the mask. There aren't a lot of cool reflections, but it does look pretty realistic in my humble opinion. What do you think? I then proceeded to add some nice calming background music to it and some deep relaxing breathing. You're basically in an insane asylum, right? And what would fit an asylum better than a maze horror game? I just now need to create the maze first. So I'm on this very cool maze generator website and click. That's how the map is gonna look like, I guess. It kind of reminds me of this random low budget movie I found called Maze Runner. But just walking around isn't the game, of course. I will have to add some type of monster that will follow you while looking for the right path. But we need to make the map first. So a map I started to create. I built the base with these 10x10 squares so I can place the walls accurately later. And it wasn't actually that difficult to replicate it. It's a tedious task, but hey, it is what it is. By the way, if you're trying to become a game developer as well, check out the free PDF I've got, especially for people who quit too easily on game development. And I've got a course for you as well. So the maze layout is done, we're one step closer to making the ultimate horror game. Now that the layout is done, I need to decorate the rooms a bit more. I mean it's pretty scary on its own, but more scary can't hurt, right? So I decorated three rooms. This one just has a few masks hanging from the ceiling. The lore of this room is that the patients in the asylum have escaped and left those masks there. Next there are some weird skull looking things and in this room everything is also pumpkin related for some reason. Those were just free assets I found alright. Spider with pumpkin, scarecrow with pumpkin head and this room is basically just a giant graveyard. And here are all the rooms with actual RTX on. This is how the mask room looks like. This is the pumpkin room. And this is the graveyard room. Just imagine walking around here and behind every corner could be the monster just trying to eat you. Talking about the monster, I decided to go for this nun right here. This dead nun. I tried to add AI to her, so it would be impossible to predict where she's going. The maze might be the same, but her moves definitely aren't. But you can see for yourself how that's working out. A little coding and I got it to work though. She's a bit slow in that, but the main function is working. Kind of wanders around. Now the next feature I added is this flashlight flickering every now and then. Sometimes the flashlight just goes out and you can't see anything. I just wanted to add a little bit of pressure while playing. Oh, and what is that? There are also some nasty New York City rats walking around here as well. They have the same AI as our nun and they walk around just like rats do. They don't really do anything cool though. This is how everything looks so far in action. The last gimmick I added are these red eyes that appear at the end of some corridors and vanish once you get close to them. Kind of fits the whole asylum vibe I wanted to create. Now we're close to having a kind of complete game. The maze in itself is done, so I can move on to the actual jump scare. I mean there should be a reason to be scared, right? I kept it quite simple, not because I'm lazy or anything, I just wanted to keep it simple. Once you actually see the nun and step into her radius... Yeah, that happens. I added a quick little ugly main menu and this is it. The game is not completely finished, but I'd say it sets a good standard for horror games. Check out this video for more.